Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lena and today I decided to do a little thrift challenge. I'm going to visit three different thrift stores and put together three complete looks, including bags and maybe some accessories. The only exception is that I'm gonna use my own shoes because I'm honestly sure that you can create a nice complete outfit from thrifted goods, but when it comes to shoes, Finding a decent pair of shoes at a thrift store can be really difficult and it really is a matter of luck more than anything else. And I just don't want to ruin the final looks with some shoes that just not right because you know sometimes the wrong pair of shoes can mess up the whole outfit. And for this challenge I have already prepared for myself a mood board, it's a thing that really help me to find an inspiration and stay focused on what I really need because it's so easy to get distracted when you're at the thrift store. By the way, I'm going to do a video about my thrifting tips, secrets and just how I do it. So if you would like to see something like that, I would be glad to answer all your questions, so let them in the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe to support this channel, it really means a lot to me. And no more words, let's go thrifting. So it's Wednesday around 7 p.m. and I'm heading to the first thrift store. I decided to go to the first one today and I will go to the other two tomorrow. And this thrift store is kind of messy and not organized at all, but they have a huge sale today. So I will probably try to find some statement piece for at least one outfit. Maybe something bright and catchy that I can build my whole outfit on. So yeah, as you can see, I don't have an exact idea of what I'm gonna look for right now, but I will hope for the best. And it's already dark and I just finished with the first free store and I ended up getting really basic stuff like classic gray blazer and black tank top and a white tee because I think this is a piece that will be so easy to mix and match no matter what I will find in the next two three stores. So now I'm going home and I will see you tomorrow. Just forget to say, I also got a lot of new stuff for my Depop store, it's called Deal Vintage, so go and check it out. And good morning, guys. Actually, it's not really morning, it's around 1 p.m., but I just woke up, did my makeup, washed my hair, and my hair is still wet. Hi there, <laughs> it's my cat, say hi. So I let my hair air dry in a car like I usually do and see you at the next thrift store. Okay, I'm at the second thrift store and my goal for this one is to find some cute vintage jeans and maybe some accessories like bag or scarf or something. So this one was pretty successful for me because I found a few really cute trendy bags. They like UK style and they black so they will fit in so many outfits and also I bought the classic blue jeans they from Route 66 and they fit really really good so I'm pretty excited about the final result. I also found a few cute accessories but I don't want to show you right now because I want you to see them in the final look. And now I'm going to the third and final thrift store and I already have my base so I'm gonna look for some accessories. So let's go to the final destination. One hour later. 
sorry my phone died so i didn't film anything at the last thrift store but the only thing i got there is these vintage earrings and that was the last one so now i'm going home and i'm gonna show you my final result so now i'm home and i'm ready to show you what i found First outfit is so simple and so easy to recreate. The main idea here was to find a perfect fitted jeans. This one from Route 66 and I bought them with tags so they was just almost brand new. And since the jeans are pretty tight for the shirt, I was looking for something with loose oversized fit and I found this one from Basic Edition at the men's section. And also here I wear my old square toe heels from my personal collection. And I also recently did my 2020 shoe collection. You can see the link right here. And there I was talking about almost every pair of shoes that I own and wear right now. And back to the first outfit, the colors here are really neutral. So to spice up this look and make it more spring, I decided to add a splash of color with the silky bandana that is not only look cute, but also super in trend right now. And the total for the first outfit will be $23.09. For the second look, I intended to find some classic suit but didn't find one, so I bought these pants and blazer separately at two different stores. And because they both black and similar fabric, they look kind of like a suit. I like men's blazers fit more than women's one and I thought about wearing a hoodie with it, but unfortunately I didn't find any, so here we have just a white t-shirt and this outfit is so plain and simple so to dress it up I added a massive chunky gold necklace that I found at the second thrift store and this white chunky sneakers are from my wardrobe and the total for this outfit is $15.83 and for the last outfit, I wanted to create it something more classy. And here I wear the same white tee as in the previous outfit, but here for a different look, I used this trick that I saw on TikTok when you tuck your sleeves so they look like this. And if you want to find a perfect baggy pants, my trick is to buy it from the men's section, a little bit bigger than you actually need them and just adjust a waist using sewing machine or a simple pin or even just a little rope on the back. And also here I wear these clip earrings that I found at the last thrift store. They remind me of a vintage Chanel and make the outfit even more chic. And for this outfit, the perfect shoes is some strapped sandals. This one I thrifted a long, long time ago. And this outfit cost me $11.76. And you saw the three complete looks. They turn out pretty basic, but they like true outfits, something that I would really wear in my regular life. And all three of them really cute and affordable. And this is the nice thing about thrifting. I'm actually really proud of the results. And if you like it too, please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to this channel and see you in the next one i said beat me up i'm on fire i'm on my ground because that's all we know we know beat me up i'm getting higher i'm on mine got me singing all we know we know beat me up i'm on fire i'm on my ground got me singing oh yeah